Okay, so I'm gonna start this video off with this beautiful black screen here. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about how to patch the Gentoo kernel with the real-time patch at 5.15.10. Now, depending on the current version of the Gentoo kernel available on the repository, uh, you may or may not be doing it for this specific version. For this specific version, it does work flawless though uh, and it does for a lot of them sometimes you'll generate an error when you're patching your sources a lot of times not so if it doesn't work with one subversion you try the other subversion when I say subversion I mean the dot 10 that's after the 5.15 so sometimes this version change around the repository but anyway you get the idea so let's go ahead and start off by going ahead and open up a terminal here and let's go ahead and compile or I should say emerge the correct kernel version, the kernel we're wanting to patch. So emerge equals gentoo dash sources dash five dot fifteen dot ten. That's the one we're gonna want to use there. You may or may not have to unmask it, I don't because I've already emerged this before, obviously. Okay, yeah, I wasn't going to make out wait through that because I know y'all's time is important too. So, we got that part done. Let's go ahead and open up a browser here. And I'm going to go ahead and type in RT preempt kernel enter. Uh, they're going to make sure we're going to the official site to get this because we want the official real-time patch set. Nothing that's ghetto or knocked off or anything like that. So, RT wiki right here. And config preempt patch. Uh, then the config preempt RT patch set it may be a little bit easier of a way to get to it. I personally think they need to do some work on this site. Uh, oh, also the Linux Foundation site. Or is it the Linux Foundation? Hold on. Real time Linux patch. Page, but this is the home page. Uh, oh, yeah, the wiki foundation. Okay, yeah, you can get it here too, uh, but it takes you to the same spot. So, yeah, and any way you want to get to it, as long as you're at the content delivery network or cdn.kernel.org, you're good. Okay, so this is the patch set I want to use right here. So, um, you see where it says patch 5.15.10-RT24? Now, there's some different archives here. You want to make sure you do the patch uh, GZ for GunZip. In my opinion, just this is just the easiest one to do, and it's just one patch file. If you see patches, this is the same thing. It's just the, you have multiple patch files instead of all those patch files. Uh, on this version right here, they're just merged into one patch file. I don't even know if I said that correctly, but I tried. Okay, so right click, copy link address, go back to terminal here. So we're going to go to cd user src linux and eselect kernel list. And you're going to want to make sure you have the correct kernel set. I already do, so uh, you all know the dealie. You can just do eselect kernel set and then, you know, 12 or the number, whatever the number is next to it for all. Okay, so. I'm in the user source Linux directory. You have to make sure that's set first before you do this. And then wget shift insert. Bam. Okay. And then we're going to extract that file. So gunzip and then p, tab it out. The only file there. It's already there. Enter. Done. And then you're going to want to go patch dash p1 and then we're gonna feed it with the patch script so patch 5.15.10 dash rt24 and then enter as you can see look but a bing but a bang we got it it all patched we can go through the log or the verbose make sure everything is good and no errors now on some gentoo versions you do get errors uh, the reason I recommend going about doing this is because 
the RT sources on the Gentoo repository usually isn't up to date. So this way you're still using the official real-time patch set. And if it doesn't generate any errors, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, I've done some testing on this. I haven't had a problem as long as your patch verbose isn't generating errors. If it is generating an error, try a different subversion. Uh, you'll eventually hit it so it comes through clean and you don't have any errors. So a lot of you guys are on Gentoo and you're like, hey, uh, where's our RT sources? Uh, sometimes the patch, uh, sometimes the package maintainers, uh, you know, don't come out with the packages as quick as they should or you know they're busy with their own lives and you know they're maintaining it probably not even for profit so anyway that's how you do it it's patched now uh, let's go ahead and go over on how to actually apply the real time oh, good news too so there has been some information in the real time community that the real time uh, kernel patch set will be eventually upstreamed so it should be in the future it should actually be in the kernel so you won't have to be patched anymore this is just going from off information I've been reading on some of the on like the wiki foundation website they said it's probably gonna be upstream soon just for the simple fact is that there's already hidden um, configuration options in the kernel for it so Anyway, let me go. Let's go ahead and do a make menu config here, and I'll show you all how to unhide the real time kernel option. Y'all probably already know how to do this. Just if you're watching this video, I'm guessing you do. Probably already been using real time a little bit before, but I'm just trying to help help some of y'all out that need help. So uh, you'd go over to general setup, and you see the preemption module. Well, it's already selected for me. Fully preemptible, real time. Now, usually that option's not there. I don't know. It might change in the future. But the reason it's usually not there is if you see configure standard kernel features for expert users. If this is unchecked, you see it doesn't show here. So if you apply the patch and you're like, hey, why isn't it showing here? Uh, it's just because you got to check this. Configure standard kernel feature for expert users. You check that and your preemption model that you want, which is the real time patch set that you have applied, would be right here. So, fully real time kernel, and you're there. And that's it. Uh, if this video helps save y'all any time, make sure to like and subscribe or buy me a cup of coffee. It helps, especially uh, with all the stuff going on in the world right nowadays. So, yeah, I'm going to keep trying to pump out more of those videos for y'all. Uh, you know, I try to do stuff by industry standard. Might not do it perfect, but I think I do it pretty well for the, the average person. And hopefully I save y'all some time. Anyway, out.